great skateboarding going on yeah. all day today. On the west steps of the State House Friday afternoon, skateboarders were showing off their best stuff. And that includes 12 year old Shadow Thornton from Tampa, Florida, who can't get enough of skateboarding. I like the feeling when like you do an air and you're like just kind of in the moment or when you land the trick after like battling it for like hours or days. Hey, come get some money, brother. You just landed two tricks. Landing tricks earn the skateboarder some cold hard cash. For 10-year-old Reese Bunn of Des Moines, it is not necessarily about the money. He came to the Open because he is all about the sport. If I didn't have a skateboard and I wasn't doing anything, just sitting at home, I don't know what I would be doing. I'd just be so bored. <laughs> The more seasoned skateboarders from the Metro here to watch and compete say they have come a long way. Telling us what they are doing here would have been frowned upon two or three years ago. I think it's really cool to see the community coming together for skateboarding and like getting the city more involved is a really big deal for us, especially like a lot of the guys who've been doing it for so many years out here. Organizers say they want to make the Des Moines Street Style Open a yearly event, believing this spotlights the best the Metro has to offer. I just want people to have a good time. Right, and I also want to showcase we have a beautiful state capitol. Now, the open continues tomorrow with an all day street skating event at Lorton Skate Park in downtown Des Moines. Now, it was suggested that I get on a skateboard, but you know what? There's not enough padding for me to give that a try. Live in West Des Moines, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.